Hey guys, today I have three super cute boho hairstyles for you guys. They're perfect for spring and they're very easy to do. There's only a couple steps needed. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started on this tutorial. So to start off, I have my hair extensions in and I've already pre-curled my hair with my curling wand. The first hairstyle we're going to be doing is a half up French twist. So right now I'm just taking and sectioning off my hair. I just like to clip it to the side to make sure both sides are even. So when I go to do the other side, I know that it's already balanced out. So to start off with, I am splitting my hair up, just the top section, into two parts. I'm going to twist it, add a little bit of hair, and twist again. I'm only adding to the bottom section, not the top. We're just gonna keep repeating this, adding to the bottom, and then twisting up again. So you're just going to keep repeating this process until you reach the bottom of your section. Alright, so once there's no more hair left to add in, we're actually going to be doing a rope braid. So what you do is you take your two sections, twist them in the same way, and then you're going to twist them both together in the opposite direction that you twisted both of them. I know rope braids can be confusing, but this doesn't have to be a very neat hairstyle. It can be very messy, so don't worry if you mess up. So once I'm finished, I'm going to clip it to the side, and I'm just going to do the same thing to the other side of my head. Now what I'm doing is I'm just pulling out and kind of loosening up this braid. I want it to be very messy, loose, and natural looking, nothing too uniform. So now I'm just removing the clips from both sides and I'm taking this around back side of my head and I'm going to be tying it together with a hair elastic. So once we have it all tied up, I'm actually going to be turning this inside out. So we're going to make a hole with our finger right in the center behind the hair elastic, open it up a little bit, and we're taking the entire section of hair, pushing it over the top and through the bottom. Now you're just going to tighten it up, and now your kind of ponytail type thing is facing downwards as opposed to upwards. And there is the finished look. One other thing that you can do that is optional is pull down a couple pieces of hair in the front like I am doing right now to frame your face. On to the boho ponytail. This is one of my personal favorites. Right now I'm just pulling out a couple pieces of hair in the front that I know that I want out for later. So what we're doing is we're pulling all of our hair back and I'm actually taking two sections on each side of my head and I'm going to be kind of twisting them a little bit just to get a better grip on them. And then what I'm going to be doing is tying a knot with my hair just like a shoelace. So as you can see, just pulling that through and then tightening it together. Once I have that, I'm going to be taking both of the sections of hair pulling it underneath the ponytail that we've created and I'm going to be grabbing a little small section from that ponytail to add to it and I'm going to be tying it off with a hair elastic. After you have that, just twist it underneath the side of your hair so it's out of sight. Next, we're going to be doing the same exact thing, just grabbing two more sections, pulling them apart, and now we're going to be tying them together again, just like a shoelace, pulling it tight, and taking it underneath the hair. Once again, we're adding that other section of hair from underneath, and tying it together with an elastic. This look is meant to be super messy, so don't worry if there's hairs flying out everywhere. That's how it's supposed to be. Yeah. 
After we have the two knots made, I'm going to be pulling through the hair that separates them. You can pull out as much as you want, you can make it as messy as you want. Today I'm going for a super messy look, so I'm just kind of going crazy. <laughs> now I'm going to be doing the same exact steps again all throughout down the bottom of my hair. Just tying it behind, pulling it out, and repeating. Once I'm finished, I'm just going back through pulling out all pieces of hair to make it super messy. And this is your finished look. Super easy to do and nothing too complicated to it. Now time for the double dutch braid. So right here I'm just sectioning off my hair and pulling it to both sides of my head. I'm just clipping away one side of my hair so I don't have to deal with it being in the way. Now we're going to take this side and we're going to be making a dutch braid. If you don't know what that is, it's just a reverse French braid. Instead of going over and adding hair, you're going under. This kind of makes an effect where the braid is kind of inside out looking and it pops off of your head instead of going in towards it. So what I'm doing here is just a normal French braid, but instead I'm adding hair and going under. I'm not going over. It might seem complicated if you've never done this before, but trust me, it's really easy. It just takes a little bit to figure out what you're doing. So once again, just adding more hair and going under. Repeat this process until you get about halfway down your hair. I like to leave a little bit of extra hair that's curled at the bottom. I think it just makes it kind of look cute. Next, I'm just tying that off of the hair elastic and there you have one side. Now I'm just gonna move on to the next side, do this really fast since you kinda get the point of what I'm doing and you can just watch as I go along. So this is what you get. You can leave it here or you can take it an extra step further like I do. I'm just pulling it apart and kinda making this braid fatter and more messier. You can just take the sides and pull them out you can pull them out as far as you want depending on how messy you want your braid to be. I love this look because you can wear it to school, concerts, on the weekends, whatever you're feeling. And this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed today and thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. See ya!